Alright, hello YouTube. I want to show you a little bit about hacking Animal Crossing. Now, let me get my remote. Alright, now that I got this, pay attention to this. Um, now, if you're going to want to hack Animal Crossing, first, you're going to have to get the Humber browser on the Humber channel. Now, once you get that, you're going to have to get something called a save game installer and a save game extractor. The extractor pulls your Animal Crossing save data off the Wii onto the memory card. And the installer installs the data that you've edited from the SD card on to the Wii. And then there you go. Now, how you install this stuff, you'll see how I have all my stuff sorted out. I don't know how I got my stuff like this, honestly. But right here's the Homebrew browser. I'm going to click load on that. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to initialize. And yeah. So let's see. Well, that's boring. So I'm going to make it to where there's music. Okay. So utilities is where you're going to find your stuff. Now, there's all kinds of good stuff on here that you might want to get later. And I want to tell you actually one thing that you should get, which is, don't get this. I got this right here. It didn't work. For some reason, it just didn't work. It's supposed to do it both install and extract for you. I don't know. It just didn't work. So, I thought you got download ACO hacks. I just got that, and I'm getting used to it. Basically, you can get like cheats for Animal Crossing, like run through bricks or walls and run fast and that kind of stuff. But some, if you use some things, it'll freeze your Wii, like rewind time and stuff like that. Some of these times, Gecko lets you use the cheats, so you have to start your game up with Gecko. Let's see. Uh, see, I used to use the code downloader and the cheat manager. And the Wii Code Manager. Basically, the new thing has all of that in one. Let's see. Here it is. Alright, now here's the save game extractor and the save game installer. You want to download both of those, okay? Now, what these do, uh, actually, I've already told you that. But you're gonna need those. Uh, and that's that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the uh, hamburger channel. And I'm gonna show you what I have to do. So I'm going to extract from my Wii. I'm also gonna show you how to store extra towns. So you're gonna press A. Gonna read the disk. Then it's gonna dump the save data file onto your SD card. It's gonna be it's gonna say okay. Then you have to go to the computer, which I'm gonna pause the video as soon as this says okay. And then I'll show you how to do all this good stuff. I'll have links uh, to download everything um, later on. And I'll I might try to get a. Uh, Um, alright, hold on. Actually, just, I might try to get that into the video, the site and stuff. But I'm going to pause the video. Yeah, hey, look, I'm in the camera. It's just, okay, okay. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm on here. I'm going to show you my files. Get them in the screen, okay. So I'm going to open my ACCF folder. Now, I'm in a folder called ACCF Maps, and here's the reason. You can get the, uh, the things with the files. And what I did is I would get those files, rename them, and then you'd click it, get the root file, and then there you are. Now, here's what you do whenever you want to get, like, 
the sounds off of your SD. There we go. Okay. So, let me plug my uh, SD card in. That. And inserting. Okay, now, you're going to have to watch this carefully because you could screw up and then, of course, your save file is not going to work. Just click SD card. Now, where it's going to be at is Wii Saves. R U U E. What you want to get, basically, copy your Wii saves, and then go to your HTCF maps, paste it there, and I guess name it something else. Uh, like, I'll just name mine 9, or actually, hold on. So I named my file my real ACSCF map. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click back, and since I have the AC toolkit, I'm going to click that. I'll tell. I'll show you where to download this here in a second. But I'm going to show you how you use it and like all that good stuff. So, you click that, I pay attention to this part, now I'm actually going to go back to my SD card. Now, we saves, if you want to put your other map on there, uh, just go to your ACCF maps, and then rename one of these to we saves, and then just pretty much copy it over this file. And then after that, you should be able to uh, install it, and then you have a backup of your talents. Um, your, oh, also, what I did is, uh, like, you'll see how I have other stuff, like backup patterns, stuff like that, yeah. So, look, other blue pattern, yeah, patterns. I, I, don't, I don't remember how to do that stuff, but, because uh, I did that a long time ago. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to we saves R U U E R V Forest dot dat. That's the file. Now you see my stuff. I can edit right here. Um. Now I can like set my wallet, my town fund, just all kinds of stuff. My emotions, my parents. Uh. I can edit what's on my town. I can edit where rocks are and every, all that good stuff. Like, there's terrain. Make sure you can see. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Uh, there's items. There's furniture. There's just all kinds of st the stuff that you need. Um, I'm going to be remaking this map. Well, not really remaking this map. I'm going to be making another map. It's going to be another ACCF where I've made them before. Um... I'm actually going to let you guys sign up for that. Just message me. Or suggest another game. Now, you can just, like, also set the grass. Move buildings. Now, how you move buildings, click, click check, and then go n where a uh, building is, where it says B. And you click move. And then, yeah, place it somewhere. Oh, by the way, if you delete a building... You lose it forever. No, I'm just kidding. You don't lose it forever. You can just click place, and you can place all this stuff, which, of course, you can place other stuff that you uh, don't have usually. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and click. You can set your grass style, your gate style. You can edit your acres, which is helpful. Basically, hold on. I need to pause this video for a second. Okay, I'm back. So you can click acres, transition, which is basically your cliffs, your rivers, which you should know what that is, oceanfront, you should know what that is, 
your barriers. Now, this is actually tricky. Left stands for, like, the left side, yellow. Then you're going to have to, like, uh, then there's the brown, which is the top cliff. Um, right here, you're going to make sure you have barrier transitions because that is what you need in order to make your town look decent or else you'll have an invisible wall there. There's waterfalls, there's the top, and there's the gate, which the gate goes above there. Waterfall goes there too. Uh, open ocean, that stuff. But that's about it. Now I will show you where to get this stuff. Um, so to Facebook. Now give me a second. So I'm gonna place this down here for a sec. Now I'm gonna search AC Toolkit and place this back up here. Uh, I'm gonna have to find the site for it real fast. Hold on, I'm gonna stop the video. Alright, so where you're gonna go is actoolkit.gamehackers.com. Uh, I'll put that in the description. Now, basically, if I were you, whenever you get here, just scroll down, and right here you should see like the AC Toolkit. You can download this. It'll tell you what the stuff does. Um. I think uh, the most recent, uh, yeah, the most recent stuff. So you have NPC tool, all those different stuff. I don't recommend doing this at first because you most likely won't know how to do it first. Now, I never did find out how to do it also, but. This is where you download that. Just download it, put it on your SD card. Uh, actually, no, don't even put it on your SD card. Just put it on your desktop. Click it, and then it opens AC Toolkit. And then, of course, you got your hacks. Well, your editing program. Uh, download Pat View if you want to. Um, then you can uh, like make a save file for your town patterns. And then you can upload that with your town. Uh, that's just about it, because well, you're, what you're going to have to do is like open it and then, I guess, upload it. I forgot to do it, uh, but it's pretty. It's not too complicated. Now, that'll be it, guys. Uh, I guess I might show you one of my hacks, uh, or actually, I'll show you one of my hacked map. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure, okay, I'm not going to go over time. I'm going to show you one of my hacked maps. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go click File, Open. Once once on my AC Toolkit's open, I'm going to go to my SD card. Or no, not my SD card, because I just want to hack one of my maps, right? Right? Okay. Now, if you just, if you don't want to use your map, just hack it a little bit and just, just edit it, like, I don't know. But you'll have your old friend list if you do this, by the way, just to let you know that. So, if I were you, I'd extract, or you're going to have to, like, add all your friends again. So, here's what I have to do. Uh, you have to go to... Okay, where the hell is it? That's not cool. Uh, private, maybe? No. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, let's see. Oh, there it is. So, ACCF stuff, maps. Then, I guess I'll show you my Pikmin battle map. So here's the town. This is, uh, I'm gonna be making it a new war, but as you can see, I'm gonna show you this. I made patterns, I put them throughout the town, as you can see. There's rocks, and then there's little, like, you know, bases and all that, that good stuff. And what there also is, is, uh, there's an entrance right here. Uh, their base, their base. This looks like, yeah, this is the red Pikmin base. This is the blue Pikmin. Here's the beach. 
I should have added another entrance down here for a flank, which I will edit this map because of that one purpose. Um, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I guess I'll see you guys later. And please subscribe and uh, tell me if you want to be in this video. Uh, see you guys.